Thank you for joining us now. I am Frank Omalape. The federal government on Tuesday declared that it had commenced the disconnection of some power firms from the national grid as a result of their known adherence to the electricity market rules. Although it did not name the affected power plants, the government explained that the Nigeria electricity supply industry was governed by rules which were absolutely necessary for the viability and sustainability of the sector. These rules, according to the federal government, were sacrosanct and must be complied with by all existing only players in the sector. According to the government, part sector players include the electricity generation, transmission and distribution companies and for all players to interact effectively and create the requisite harmony for growth, efficiency and profitability of the sector, the rules must be obeyed and upheld. The market operator and arm of the federal government's transmission company of Nigeria, Edmond Edge, in a statement issued in Abuja, said some of these rules are domiciled with the market operator. But today, adherence to the market rule is below expectation. And now the transactions done by foreign investors on the Nigerian Exchange Limited decreased by 53.16% uh, from 19.62 billion naira. That's about uh, 42.51 million US dollars to 9.19 billion naira between January and March 2023. This was disclosed in the March edition of the Domestic and Foreign Portfolio Investment Report of Nigerian Exchange Limited, which was released this month. Also, as of March uh, 2023, total transactions are the local bonds decreased by 22.6% from 188.91 billion uh, US uh, naira, 188.91 billion naira. That's about $409.72 million in February to $146.2 billion in March. The performance of the current month when compared to the same period in 2022 revealed that total transactions decreased by 21.07%. As of the end of the first quarter of 2023, foreign transactions stood at $53.71 billion with the figure from uh, for January being 24.9 billion era. February 2023 recorded 19.62 and 9.19 billion era was recorded in March 2023. And now the accumulated debt from unstructured supplementary service data which deposit money banks or telecommunication firms has risen to over 100 billion era. As a result, banks and telcos are expected to hold another round of meetings with a view to resolving the deadlock. The debt uh, was put at $80 billion, uh, a few months ago. The head of operations of the Association of Licensed Telecommunications Operators of Nigeria, Bolahon Awunuga, uh, confirmed that USSD debt had grown from $80 billion era as of November last year to over $100 billion era in April this year. According to him, much progress as regards payment has not been made with telcos and banks still locked up in discussions. USSD services ensure that many Nigerians can access banking services on their phones with smartphones penetration still quite low in the country and it serves as a bridge to financial inclusion for many underserved Nigerians. In the meantime, the cost of powering telecommunication services has hit 33.47 billion naira per month following a 55.16% year-on-year increase in the cost of diesel. According to the National Bureau of Statistics, the cost of diesel rose to 836.81 naira per litre in March 2023 from 50 or 539.32 kobo uh, naira per litre in the corresponding period of 2022. This puts the monthly cost of powering base stations to 33.47 billion naira in March from 21.5157 uh, billion naira as of March 2022. At the current rate, the cost of operating base stations is expected to exceed over 400 billion naira by year end. Industry statistics estimate that mobile telecommunication operators use at least 40 million litres of diesel per month 
to power telecom site. As at the end of 2021, the Nigerian Communications Commission revealed that there were 30,288 bait stations in the country. The World Bank has disclosed that low-skill Nigerians who moved to the United States of uh, America increased their earnings by 1,500%. This was contained in the World Development Report 2023 Migrant Refugees and Societies released on Tuesday on the World Bank's website. And the report noted that the potential gains from migration are highest for people who moved from low to high-income countries. A graph illustrating the increase shows that the highest gains for low-skilled migrants are from Yemen, which is over 1,500%, Nigeria almost 1,500%, and Egypt almost 1,000%. However, it was noted that income gains are sometimes partly upset by the financial cost of moving, especially for the low-skilled. It was further noted that Nigeria is a major origin and destination for migrants, adding that Nigeria is home to almost 1.3 million immigrants and is the origin of the 1.7 million immigrants.